மும்பையில் இடம்பெற்ற பத்திரிகையாளர் சந்திப்பில் நடிகர் விக்ரம் தமிழருடைய கட்டிடக்கலை மற்றும் கடல் ஆளுமைகளை பற்றி அழகாக ஆங்கிலத்தில் விவரித்துள்ளார் geography history but i think the most important thing is history as children all of us have listened to stories of the past that's chandamama you have chandamama and hindi maruch whatever marchitrika ah all those are stories we hear we've been told stories about the past about kings about our we've had such an illustrious past just a small things that they want to make you notice we all talk about the pyramids and how could they have possibly built it how did they do it so many years ago but do you know that in india we have so many temples but the highest the one with the highest gopuram is there in tanjavur uh, which is where the chola dynasty had happened and his ruler rajaraja Raja chola had built that particular temple has the highest gopuram in the whole world the top stone alone it's a single stone that weighs 80 tons 80 tons not 1 ton or 2 tons and how did they do it but do we know that we all go to the pyramids we go see the leaning tower of pisa someone said something very nice he said we are actually appreciating a building that doesn't stand it's falling over and wow let's take a picture let's take a selfie and we're getting excited but we have temples today that stand and they didn't use plaster do you know that for this particular stone they had to use a ramp which was 6 kilometers long which was pulled by bulls elephants and people 6 kilometers long to get it up there without any machinery without any cranes without any anything and they didn't have plaster it's withstood 6 earthquakes You know what happens when an earthquake comes without plaster. What they have done is they have an outer wall, then inside that they have a corridor of six feet, which is an open, just a corridor, and then they have another structure inside which goes all the way to the top, which is why they can withstand earthquakes, which is why they stood so long. So these are all things that we need to know about. This particular king has built five thousand dams in his time, and he's made a water management ministry in that time. He's had elections for the village leaders. He's, he's asked me to name cities after women. Why should it only be men? Why can't it be named after a queen? And they've had hospitals, free hospitals, and uh, they and and he actually brought loans. I mean, he used to give loans. He used to help people get dignity, not just throw money around. So this is something that's so illustrious. And this happened in the ninth century. I'm sorry, I'm taking so much time. It happened in the ninth century when the rest of the world. You talk about superpowers today. The ninth century, all this happened when we had the biggest maritime. Or uh, it's a naval thing in in the world, and it went all the way to Bali, all the way to Malaysia, and went till we sent emissary emissaries to China, China. And you know what was the superpower doing then? America hadn't been discovered by Columbus till 500 years later. So think about our culture. Think about how advanced we were. We need to be proud of this. It's nothing to do with North India, South India, West India. East. It is we are Indians, and we, I mean, we need to feel proud about that. And that England, is England is so illustrious, but England was invaded by the Vikings, and the Europe was in the Dark Ages during the ninth century. They had nothing going on. So, don't you think we should celebrate history? Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you. TV YouTube channel ini anda rekam neer kel anda rekam amade nanti. Amade kano li topu kerei toran de ninggal parve gitu pada kerei kiri rekan de bell button ini alat pada nuda ke notification il pala kano li topu kerei udah nukulan unggal iwan de serum. அருகில் இருக்கின்ற முக்கிய காணொலி தொகுப்புகளையும் பார்வையிட தவறாதீர்கள்